All right, dude. Cheers. Cheers. Kampai. Cheers. Cheers. Kampai. So you said oh. that this sake is pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, it's so interesting. I had to have another glass before we started. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, Just pre-gaming. A little bit. Um, yeah, it's got it's got like kind of it almost feels like a like a roller coaster. Yeah. Because like when it first hits, it's it's got that smooth taste, and then it's like pow, mm -hmm. and then it goes back down smooth. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, well, I mean, so like I said, so one of my favorite brands is Azakura. So mm. if you guys ever see this, you should definitely try it. This it doesn't have to be this color, but this this mm. kanji. Yeah. Azakura is my favorite. Yeah, you said it's from Akita. Yeah, it's from Akita. Yeah. Nice. So, all right. So, Asin, what is today's topic? Today, we're going to be talking about Japanese holidays. Japanese so we holidays. We talked about foreigner okay. or foreign holidays mm -hmm. in Japan, but now we're going to transition over okay. and talk about some more local holidays. So, what was what was one of the most surprising experiences you've had in Japan celebrating like a Japanese holiday? Oh man, you can't you can't ask me that. Just give me one, just give me one. Oh man. Uh Well, um so there's there's a <laughs> there's a really famous holiday here in uh mm -hmm. Kawasaki. It's a big festival at the shrine. Do you know, do you know Oh, what is it about? the penis festival? Yeah, it's the penis festival. Yeah. Um that's a lot of fun to go to. Uh, uh that's a lot of fun to go to. Why does that sound weird to me? You've been in Japan too long, that's Yeah, why. yeah, yeah. Um, but it's, it's, it's a blast. Uh, you, I mean, I, you got like all the stuff that you'd see if yeah. you Googled it, but, um, there's just a lot of people mm -hmm. just kind of celebrating and it's like everyone uses it as an, God, wow, I've had three cups and I'm already I know, slurring dude, my words. I know, you gotta, you gotta tone it down a bit. Okay. Oh my maybe, goodness. Maybe I should just keep this on my side. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, but it's, uh, everyone uses it as an yeah. excuse to, um, go, uh, celebrate Hanami. Okay. Yeah. So you basically just treat it as a big Hanami day. Okay. And I absolutely love it. It's it happens. You mean that that festival at the shrine at Kawasaki? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um. You usually go out to the park and um, mm -hmm. the park nearby the okay. shrine, and it's oh god, it's so mm -hmm. much fun. It's so much fun. There's like all these different events going on. There's um a million different penis shaped foods. That you yeah. Can, okay. That you can eat. Okay. Um. And you just, you know, you have a picnic and yeah. it's a good time. What about you? Yeah, so for me, I... So, I was really lucky because when I came to Japan, yeah. I already had a lot of contacts in Japan. Oh, okay. And so I was actually teaching at Kaplan on, on the Ave. It's, it was this, um, like, English language school that a lot of foreign students would go to. Yeah. I was a teacher there. I wasn't supposed to be a teacher there because I hadn't graduated yet, but they somehow smuggled me into the system it's because they felt yeah, yeah i was i was very pushy anyways that's another totally another story but yeah so i knew some japanese people from that school okay and um it was this older woman and she actually when i came to japan i told her i was coming to japan so she's like oh come up and meet my family hmm. so i go up and meet her family she lived around i think it was like narimasu so on the tobu line if you go up on the tobu line a little okay. bit so from Ikebu i met her at ikebukuro station yeah and she took me to yeah, I mean, there's there's really no reason to go out oh, there. Oh, okay, but, fair enough. <laughs> but but she took me to one of the local omatsuri that they were having because this was mm -hmm. right in the middle of summer where they have omatsuri, oh, right? Okay. And it was amazing. It was my third day in Japan. Yeah. And we went there and we saw omikoshi, like those portable shrines yeah. that they carry on that yeah, shoulders. Yeah, yeah. And they they had me join. So really? they they had me put on the clothes oh and God. I went, I, I did that, right? And so there's actually, a, there's a picture. I was writing a blog back years ago when I was doing sure. it and there's a picture of me there. But th here's the worst thing. I thought it would be super fun. That <laughs> thing is super heavy, yeah. first of all. Yeah, it is I super, imagine. But, but here's the thing. I was taller than everyone else. So oh, when that no. thing comes down, so you were whose like... shoulder blade do you think it hits? <laughs> hits me here. I looked later, I, I was drawn, I drew blood. Here it had like Jesus. rubbed my skin because I just didn't know how to do it well. Yeah, but that, but like that whole kind of like omatsuri mm. um, atmosphere, something I really like. That I wish we had in the states. We have it in Europe, mm. but not so much in the states. I think. Yeah, I think um, actually my favorite season in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, well, okay, that's a, that's kind of a lie. I absolutely love fall, but my favorite okay. like holiday season mm -hmm. is uh, obon. 
Obon? Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. I love going to Obon festivals mm-hmm. and, you know, like, uh, I'll even wear yukata yeah. when I go okay. and uh, participate in the dance. I'm usually yeah. really drunk by the time I'm in the <laughs> dance, so I'm, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is fun. But mm-hmm. um, it's it's such a fun experience, you know, uh, especially you get, like, the summer festivals mm-hmm. and stuff, you, like, with the uh, fireworks and, you know, yeah. like, uh, yakisoba and mm-hmm. that kind of thing. It's a, it's a really great experience and... um. I, I the way I kind of think of it is like if you imagine Fourth of July, mm-hmm. but Fourth of July is just all summer. Yeah, right. That's kind of how it feels. Yeah, yeah, because you have all these like yatai. The, what do you call yatai in English? Like the the food vendor. Yeah, things, like the uh, food carts. I don't know, just like cheap festival food. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so like you'll have like these little food carts or something mm. out, and it, in the states we have food trucks, but they're not really trucks; they're more like carts. Yeah, and you can get like all sorts of things mm. um you can get okonomiyaki or you can get like a banana like a fried banana or something like yeah, that yeah, or yeah. just all sorts of like stuff that's mm. overpriced but it's nice <laughs> but it's always it's funny cuz it's like it's around the shrine where yeah. that happens right so like what's interesting to me is that there are not many religious people in Japan mm. and kind of like going to the shrine or going to the temple is not a big part of everyday life but still during the summer Around there, you always have things that you yeah. do, and it's like just a part of the tradition now. I mean, it's a, it's like Christmas and Easter Catholics. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Growing yeah. up, like I grew up Catholic, and it was it was always so funny because mm-hmm. you know you do Catholic mass like mm-hmm. every weekend. And there'd be a couple hundred people in the church, mm-hmm. but then Christmas, Christmas come around, there'd be mm-hmm. like a thousand. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it just like would quadruple. Um, okay. But yeah, I kind of I kind of feel like it's it's kind of the same thing where it's like, you know, like you said, like most mm-hmm. people aren't religious, but mm-hmm. it's just uh there's so many uh, festivities mm-hmm. like tied into the religious areas yeah. here that it's like you, you kind of just end up doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, so yeah, so I really like the omatsuri mm. atmosphere. So that's what we're talking about now. It's not really like a specific holiday, yeah. but that whole like atmosphere of like we'll have a festival. Mm. Going, I really like that. But also, um, you and I, we have quite different experiences with Japanese festivals because I'm married, yeah. which means I go to my wife's hometown and I celebrate these things. Sure. So you and I have really different perspectives. So Very like much. for Obon, what do you do for Obon? Uh, actually, um, I, I still travel outside Tokyo. Okay. Um, so I, I typically head down into like uh, Hyogo Ken. Um, okay. And I spend time with my my host family, mm-hmm. so um, yeah, I, I mean, I I kind of I kind of treat them as like a second family. Okay. Um, so, oh, so you go to the host family? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. So it's great. Uh, yeah, my host family back from all all the way mm-hmm. when I was in high school. Wow. Um, yeah, I'll usually I'll usually head down there, spend a couple days with them, um, and then go over to Osaka and visit some friends, mm-hmm. and then come back. So it's mm-hmm. it's kind of like a three or four day trip. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. So, I really enjoy it. But what do you do? So I know, so like for Ob- Obon for you is basically you just go see friends and people you know for a while or do you do any sort of activities? Not not really, no. I, okay. I kind of just hang out at the house and yeah. eat food. Like we usually do like a lot of barbecues and stuff. Okay. So um, yeah, God, man, I love I love that time. <laughs> it's like we, yeah. we'll do like a two-day barbecue. Oh, man, yeah. that's great. Grilling up like uh, all, all sorts of steaks and stuff. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, for I so I guess then it's not really that different from me too because yeah. I you know I go to Niigata for Obon every year because yeah. that's where Natsumi's from. Yeah, and I spend time at her at her parents' house or the house where she grew up. But mm-hmm. what's kind of interesting is um, so normally you'd think that you know society is kind of patriarchal, so you'd really spend a lot of time with the father's family yeah. kind of thing. But actually, for the celebrations, mm. we always go to Natsumi's mom's house, oh, a childhood home, right? I think like her her grandmother used to, so Natsumi's great grandmother used to be like a Buddhist priest or something okay. like that. I mean, they have like a butsudang mm. there, and there's a picture of her, and they have like pictures yeah. there. But yeah, so so like whenever we go for a celebration, we go there, and they do something called enkai, which mm-hmm. is the the direct translation is banquet, which basically means they'll take like five, like three 
um, really low tables and yeah. they'll set them out. So they, they live in a tatami house. Yeah. So normally you have like the shoji that separate all the rooms, but yeah. they'll take the shoji down. So it's all one big it's room. Just... They'll put the tables out. Okay. And then all the family comes over for a dinner. So it, it used to be about 30 people mm. from what I hear. Now it's closer to like 15 or 10 people. Yeah. But still it's like, it's a big thing. You get all this food together. And then mm. after that, um, if you feel like it, you can go to the Bon Odori at yeah. the, near the shrine. Yeah. But yeah, that's basically what we do. Yeah, it's, you know, it, I don't know. Like when I, when I try to describe it to some mm -hmm. of my friends back home, it's like, oh yeah, I mean, we just have like a barbecue and, you know, you, you just get drunk and then later you throw on a yukata and mm -hmm. you, go, you go dance around like a pillar basically. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's kind of hard to convey like, the yeah. experience but it's like fourth of july it, you have it a barbecue does, it definitely does feel like the fireworks yeah yeah it definitely does feel like fourth of july and it's it's something that i think is um it's really relaxing yeah you know what i mean like it's it's a very stress-free environment yeah and uh you, you typically you're just hanging out with everyone that you yeah. like so yeah it's i i really enjoy it so so that's kind of like obon so that's like the major um summer holiday mm. and actually so from from what I know, that Obon is actually really similar to Halloween in terms of its cultural significance, because yes. both of them believe like the spirits come probably, back. Probably more so. Uh, what oh, I'm gonna butcher it because I've been drinking, but uh, Dia de los Muertos. Okay. Right, the Mexican yeah, yeah. holiday. Yeah, I yeah. think it's like a almost exact. Yeah. Uh, translation into that. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah. So so you have that. Um, and then the other big. Japanese holiday is New Year's. You know, like you said oh, in the last man. episode that Japanese New Year's is kind of like Western people's Christmas, yes, right? Yes. So for New Year's, what do you do? So, well, I have a unique experience because I literally live across the street from a large temple. Okay. So um, my New Year's, uh, so I, I do Hatsumore at uh, midnight every year. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Like I line up because I just literally have to leave my house and go What's across Hatsumore? the street. What's Hatsumore? Um, so Hatsumode is kind of, um, uh, you basically just go to a shrine and, mm -hmm. uh, you, you get your little good luck charm, you mm -hmm. do some praying and you wait in a line for two hours, yeah. <laughs> like that kind of thing. Yeah. Hatsumode literally means the first pilgrimage. It's kind of like the mm. first visit to the shrine you do mm. of the year. For most people, it's their only visit. This is it's, also true. it's it's like church on Christmas. Yes. You know, it is very much. But it's just like, oh, yeah, we go to do Hatsumode. You yeah. get the fortunes and stuff. You, and... you have to do Hatsumode. Yeah. It's, it's like not even negotiable. Yeah. You know, actually, what's really interesting is um, mm -hmm. so, you know, we like to go to that sake place in Monze Nakacho, yeah, right? Yeah. The reason why I discovered that place mm -hmm. was because of Hatsumode. Oh, no. So kidding. I used to live in, Nak in Nakano, right? Yeah. And I remember. Um, I went. I went to visit Monze Nakacho once because I thought the name looked very interesting. I'm yeah. like, in front of the gate, friendly town. Interesting, Monze <laughs> Nakacho, right? Yeah, yeah. So I go there, and I'm like, oh crap! There's this huge temple. So then my sister comes and visits me a couple weeks later. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hey Alex, let's go here. There's this really nice temple, and mm -hmm. it's a pretty cool place. So we go there, and they had everything up. They even had like a like a Buddhist service that they were doing. Yeah. And my so my sister got like the real deep Hatsumode experience. <laughs> you know, we both got our omikuji, our fortunes and stuff. Oh man. But yeah, so for me though, like with when I think of New Year's now, for me New Year's is like sleeping and watching TV. Yeah. Yeah, and you eating a lot of mochi. Yeah. Like that 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 typical thing. Um yeah, it's it's a really good experience. Um I think uh it's it's really it's i mean i have been here a while i guess too mm -hmm. so i guess my my reality's kind of been warped from mm -hmm. um my my youth my youthful ages of going out and partying until like until midnight well no we, we'd stay out way past oh midnight. yeah well, okay but, okay yeah yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah doing like the midnight countdown and yeah. that kind of thing um i actually i had plans to go do that last okay. year and then it got to like 6 p.m that mm -hmm. night and then, so I was with some friends at yeah. the time, and they were just like, yeah, but what if, what if we just stayed inside and watched TV? What? <laughs> so, so I got to tell you, dude, um, about that. So it was 2014. This was like the last time I did anything fun for New Year's. But so, so 
I had um, a friend from Seattle was visiting. She yeah. actually did a, was doing a study abroad in Osaka. Oh, okay. And she came in to visit for a while and she was coming to meet her, some friends. Mm. And uh, it was in Shibuya on New Year's. They yeah. were doing Nomi Hodai. Yeah. And it was great because it was like a three hour Nomi Hodai. Oh, okay. But, but we got there an hour and a half late. So we had, we had 90 minutes left. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, okay, well, I paid for three hours. So I'm going to get my money's worth <laughs> in this time. Hours of alcohol. So I literally had like Isho bean of beer. Yeah. I had four of those. Nice. And that was actually a really big mistake. Oh, because, I, I, undoubtedly so. No, no, no. Because, because so it hits to be like 1130 and I'm already like, guys, I'm really tired. I just, so when I get drunk. Yeah. I'm kind of like really happy, really loose. But then when I hit my limit, I just sleep. Yeah. Like, it's great. I have like an off switch. Yeah. You know? So I was getting close to my off switch moment. I was just like, yeah, I just, I just want to go to sleep now. <laughs> and then they're like, no, Arthur, we have to go out. I'm like, guys, come on. I mean, New Year's happens every year. I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go to sleep. I remember saying, guys, New Year's happens every year. So yeah. we leave at 1145. I'm like, guys, I'm leaving. Like, you have fun. I'm going to sleep. I don't really care anymore. <laughs> so I go to Shibuya, but they have closed off the station for that because it's too crazy. So sure. they're not letting people go through. So yeah. I'm like, oh, cool. I'm just, I'm stranded in Shibuya. The one thing I want to do is I want to sleep. But now everyone is yeah. crowding the central area, the Hachiko crossing. Yeah. And people are doing almost like a moshing thing, counting. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, this is so great. And I'm just like, dude, I just want to <laughs> sleep. What's going on? And then it was like, 10, 9, 8. And I was sitting here being like, 5, 4, 3. <laughs> and then when New Year's comes up, people are like, yeah, great. And for some reason, because maybe because I was a foreigner, um, all these all these people would come up to me like, yeah, and give me a high five and stuff. I'm just like, yeah, great, great. Okay, can I get on the train now? <laughs> and I just went home. Wow, you sound like just an absolute blast. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, so if you want to party, my number is below this video. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, yeah. I get that, though. I get that. It's uh, it, it can get a little wild, like especially here in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's it's kind of like that with me for Halloween. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in, in the sense that uh, the places that I go get really, really unruly um because we we talked about halloween uh last episode yeah but um and the crazy stories about turning over the car and stuff that was that was a fun night <laughs> that was a really fun night yeah but uh yeah so what what other what other holidays do you so i mean so i don't really so we kind of hit the big ones so mm. you had like that omatsuri season in summer yeah yeah, yeah. um you have obon and you have new year's I don't really do much yeah. other than that. I mean, because I'm self-employed. So uh, yeah. normally the times when people take breaks, I'm yeah. working. That's, that's just how I am. Yeah. What there, are, there's, there's, there's like a really big one um, that, yeah, you probably don't deal with that much uh, being self-employed, but uh, Golden Week. Oh, yeah, is, dude. Is, I've heard it exists. I've never <laughs> experienced it. Yeah. I try it's to avoid it. One. Yeah. It's a pretty big one. It's it's kind of funny. It's like the the way I would describe it is like the entire country just takes a week off. Okay. That's that's kind of how it when, feels. When does it happen? So it's it, what is it? It's the beginning of May, isn't it? I think so. Yeah, yeah. It's spring. The keyword yeah. is spring. Spring. Um so it's it's basically it's actually not one specific holiday. It's a series of holidays that are kind of just like at some point in history, someone's just like, hey, we got like this list of holidays. I can't really figure out where to fit them in. And another guy's just like, ah, screw it. Just put them all in one week. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. one of those things. And uh, so you got like all these different days that mm -hmm. you're supposed to like celebrate. It's like Girls Day, Boys Day, Children's Day, and, like all these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but they're the, the important thing to know is they're all yeah. bunched up together. So it's a series of national holidays where you're pretty much forced to take a break from yes. work. And it's kind of almost every day of the week yes and the idea is uh many people here in japan they mm -hmm. like to go traveling during this time yeah which if you think about it is uh, a really bad idea because yeah. all of a sudden the ticket prices go skyrocketing yeah, right. during that time yeah right um but uh yeah i i i also participate in the traveling mm -hmm. thing i haven't i wasn't able to do it last year because mm -hmm. of covid but um the year before i went to okinawa and i was mm -hmm. actually able to see the castle Okay. Before it burned down. Oh, cool. Yeah, it like literally burned down. I think like the month 
after wow. I visited it or something. It wow. was like almost immediately right after. What, what castle? Shurijo? Shurijo. Okay. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that, that was a great experience. And mm-hmm. I, I think I, I, I think most people uh, over here, both Japanese and foreigners, mm-hmm. uh, tend to tend to travel during that time. Okay. So. Yeah, I mean, so so yeah. For me, the good thing about my lifestyle, and this is where we're so different, right? Is because yeah. I'm I I'm self employed. Yeah. So that means that I can take a break whenever I want, oh, and I'm Nina. also and I'm also, <laughs> but. I do end up working more hours than I think most people do. But sure. I mean, also, I enjoy my work too, so I do yeah. that a lot. Yeah, yeah. But also, it, it helps that my um my anniversary is in February Ooh. because that is when travel tickets are the cheapest. Mm. So I can always say, hey, nuts me, let's, let's go on a travel, exp- let's go travel in for our anniversary and it's super cheap. But it, it works, <laughs> it works, you know? Yeah, so we, mm. we tend to do like ryokan, we go to oh, stay at our yoga and stuff every year. Yeah, I mean now that I have a son, it's mm. not really oh, feasible. Fair. I mean, we'll see what happens. But, but yeah, yeah. So for me though, with Golden Week mm. and Silver Week, which is in is that in August or September? Oh, yeah, I have no idea what yeah. that is. Silver Week is kind of like Golden Week um, beta. Okay. So it's like it's like Golden Week, but not as nice. Yeah. And I think there are fewer days, but they have like three national holidays during that week. Oh, I think it was September because. What happens during Golden Week okay. and Silver Week, I get a lot of inquiries to join my English program at that time because people have time to think yeah, about yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so you have Golden Week and Silver Week. Mm. And you know, it's kind of interesting. So in Japan, right, you have so many national holidays that where you basically mandate yeah. are mandated to not work Yeah, that Japanese people end up working fewer hours per year than American mm. people. Yeah, I was gonna say it. It it definitely feels like I have more days, like mandated days off, mm-hmm. uh, working here than in the U.S. Like when I when I think of like holidays over in the U.S. that like you mm-hmm. you have to take the work off. You think of like President's Day, uh, Columbus Day, uh, uh, what is that? Memorial Day. What what am I forgetting here? Martin Luther King Day. I don't know any like, of these. I've never worked in a company oh. before, so. <laughs> yeah, well, there we go. Yeah, it's like I I could probably count on like one hand mm-hmm. the amount of days that you take off during mm-hmm. the year in the U.S. But like here in Japan, it's like oh, it's easily more than ten holidays a yeah. year. Um, so you you get like probably about two, maybe even three weeks off. Yeah. Of just holidays in the year. Yeah, it's it's funny because you know you have this image of. Japanese people working so mm. hard, and yet when when people work, they work yes to death. Karoshi yeah. sometimes, you know. Yeah. But still, like it's like okay, well, they realize that if they give an optional day off, mm. no one's going to take it because of the culture here. Yeah. So the government has to mandate yeah. <laughs> you guys will not work on this day. It's so true. You know, um, it's kind of funny. Uh, so I I've, I've I've been negotiating like a new mm-hmm. contract with my work and everything, and. Um, so I've I've been in the process mm-hmm. of doing that in the past couple of weeks, and um, so I told my I told the principal, I was like, look, look, I'm I'm okay with working six days a week, mm-hmm. right? And uh, but the real the real three D chess mm-hmm. that I'm playing is mm-hmm. the the sixth day that I would come in is I would start coming in on Monday. Mm-hmm. Well, it just so happens mm-hmm. many holidays are, are on, on Monday. Monday. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like. Yeah, I'll be coming in every once in a while, but really, it's like really? I'm just trying to make myself look better while yeah. also taking those holidays. Yeah, days you'll off. be able to skip like 20 of those <laughs> days a year. Yeah, so. no, I get that. I get yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's funny how because pe- people plan that actually. So in Japan, because those national holidays tend to come on a Monday. Yeah. So people will plan that, and they'll be like, "Oh yeah, yeah so I have a Sunday. You have a long weekend." Yeah. So, but it, it's funny how it's like the holidays tend to come on a Monday. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Anyways, dude, so I think this is a good place to cut off. We talked about yeah, our experiences, omatsuri and stuff. Yeah. Have you have you ever done omikoshi before, by the way? I have not. Dude, dude you, you're not your, selling me on it, though. I know. With your height, dude, you'd probably rip your shoulder off. Oh, my so, God. <laughs> what what do you want to talk about next time? Okay. Uh, that's, a, that's a hard one. <laughs> so for me, I would like to talk about fun activities to do in japan okay so like maybe if you're working here or you want to take a you want to travel somewhere where's a good place to go yeah what is traveling inside japan like you know i would like to 
talk about that. Yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting. I I think um, is especially uh, Japan's really famous for like day trips. Yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah. right, right. So that that'd be kind Should of a fun thing that. to talk about. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, All right let's man. do that. Let's do it. Hey, dude, I haven't even helped. Dude, cheers, cheers. See, you. is that still your first glass? Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs>